Das war ein Befehl! Der Angriff Steiners war ein Befehl! Mein Führer, ich kann nicht zulassen, dass die Soldaten, die für Sie verbluten... Ist das Feiglinge, Verräter, Versager! Mein Führer, was Sie da sagen, ist ungeheuerlich! Die Generalität ist das Geschmeiß des deutschen Volkes! Sie ist ohne Ehre! What's going on, everyone? Jeremy here from The Quartering, and we've got a spicy, spicy day full of news. Want to let you know I'm trying something new now. I'm testing not worrying so much about notifications and just putting out my videos in kind of the uh, 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. window, uh, Central Standard. So um, that's going to be what I'm going to test. I I've long thought that, oh, I've, I got, I've got to wait so notifications send. But I've got, a, I've got, you know, this sitting in my basement staring at the walls has got a few theories bouncing around in there. So just make sure you check the channel or if you don't already, follow me on Twitter because I always tweet out when I put out a new video, regardless of which channel it's on. So Sarah Silverman, uh, actress, <clears throat> comedian. Norm, thanks for dressing up. Hey, yeah. Sarah, listen, man. Uh, congratulations. That is the hundredth time that joke's been done tonight. <laughs> Uh, ex-wife to, was it Jimmy Kimmel or girlfriend or something? I don't care. Aww. I've never found her very funny. But, uh, you know, it's hard out there being unfunny and being a comedian, I suppose. Uh, she's had a long and storied history of not only being a walking hypocrite, but also being a laughing stock, a well-documented laughing stock when it comes to being outraged about Mr. Hankity Clankity and the bad guys from WW2. But now she has stuck her face. I look like the beautiful Queen Latifah. Oopsie! Into the uh, video game community, Call of Duty. And um, her big concern from yesterday is the black bad guys from WW2 in Call of Duty and that it's not fun defeating those enemies. And that is, of course, an outrage. To give you a brief history of some of the best Sarah Silverman nuggets of big brainedness, we had these construction symbols painted on the ground. She tweets out, Walking to go get coffee and saw these all over the sidewalk in the town I'm in. Is this an attempt at a friendship windmill? Do Neo bad guys from WW2 not have Google? You are fake news. Sarah Silverman. <laughs> Justin Wayne got her. Cactus in Final Fantasy. Top reply from Shoe on Head. I left my mansion for two seconds to spend some money on overpriced coffee and saw friendship windmills. What is construction work? <laughs> That's right. These were, of course, construct construction symbols, and she was roundly roasted. Uh, comedian uh, Sarah Silverman mocked by Twitter followers after confusing sidewalk construction markings for friendship will windmills. The 46-year-old posted the pictures to Twitter. Sarah Silverman has been slammed on Twitter after making a pay make mistaking a pair of neon orange construction markings for friendship windmills. The 46-year-old comedian, who is an outspoken opponent of Donald Trump, obviously, uh, wrote on Twitter that she was on her way to get coffee when she noticed these things drawn on the sidewalk. This is what TDS does to people. Uh, look, I know I have viewers that don't like the president. That's awesome. I don't like a lot of the stuff he does either. This is a major theme right here, but 2 Corinthians, right? 2 Corinthians 317, that's the whole ball game. 2 Corinthians. Believe me, uh, but let's just, you know, help a friend out. If you see a friend kind of sliding into that TDS area, make sure that, you know, you bring them back to reality, you know, criticize real things, you know, um, um, make valid points. Stick away from orange man, bad uh, type stuff. And then maybe you won't start seeing construction symbols as friendship windmills. Her followers are quick to point out that the innocuous curvy symbols are common in construction to designate the location of underground pipes and wires. <laughs> oh my goodness. But that wasn't it. That's right. Sarah Silverman also spoke out about those prom kids and their photos doing the uh the the dankula we'll call it the dankula's dog in their prom photo which by the way is dumb but who cares like literally who cares i can't imagine uh uh high schoolers doing something edgy 
would be that big of a deal. But Sarah Silverman took time to call them ringleaders, followers, and 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 uh, dips Sarah Silverman on the prom photo. Because I like how she is the the uh, go to. I'm outraged about Jewish Jewish stuff person. Apparently. Um, so, you know, Sarah Silverman, she puts out a whole video of, on Hulu about it. She understands that some of the students were merely goaded by the adult photographer into doing the salute, ironically. But she questions whether the students understand what they're doing. I'm not too PC. That's right. You're not. You have, in fact, dressed up like the man himself on late night show hosts. It's interesting that you are going to admit that, but then continue to be outraged. She understands that some of the students, I'm not too PC. I've dressed up as Mr. Hankity Clankity, and I've made about six million Holocaust jokes. Ha 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 ha. But you're not allowed to. You get it, right? Sarah Silverman's allowed to make that joke, but not you. She says the specific number itself is a dark meta joke. Yeah, we all know. Holy crap. Holy crap. She's so unfunny that these the whoever wrote this is explaining her jokes. All right. She touts her offensiveness credentials in order to point out how pretending to be uh, the bad guys from WW2 isn't simply un PC joke, but it's rather capitulation to evil. She explains that all it takes is to let these people flourish, our ringleaders, followers, and morons, all of which accounted uh, for in this photo. Thankfully, Silverman points out, also in the group was one student who understood what was happening and opted out. Here's hoping that overall people are far more like him. Yeah, okay. Uh, so we've established, have I established that Sarah Silverman's a moron yet? Uh, a moron and hypocrite? Sarah dresses up as Mr. Hankily Clankity on Conan Jokes. Donald Trump comparisons. Oh, okay. Well, <laughs> it's okay when Sarah Silverman does it. But not you, plebs. Don't be stealing all of Sarah Silverman's best Jew jokes because she's only allowed to make them. Uh, or she's only allowed... Well, they're not really Jew jokes, are they? They're, they're, they're uh, uh, WW2 jokes, I would say. Uh, she's the one that's allowed to make them. Uh, and then there was yesterday. Oh, what a legendary day it was. Sarah Silverman decided to tweet out can someone explain why there are black bad guys from WW2 and COD WW2? Could like some, like half of them are black. It's truly taking the joy of pretend deleting the bad guys. Ha 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 ha! This is called inclusion. You know, uh, what, um, what most Hollywood types are really concerned about. You've got to have representation or only, okay, so only them are, are only the bad guys from WW2 are allowed to be white. Which is it, Sarah Silverman? Do you want historical accuracy or do you want diversity and inclusion? Because one of them gets you gender field five failure edition and the other one gets you the biggest franchise probably in sport, in, in gaming history in Call of Duty. Uh, she goes on to say, and to be clear, I'm talking about bots, not players with self-reflecting avatars. <laughs> like seconds later, she realized how dumb that tweet was and tried to back it up with that. I play multiplayer with two friends and we are aliens playing the bad guy bots who, for not a good reason I've heard yet, are disproportionately black. <laughs> oh my God. This is literally something she's mad about. I'm, I'm not kidding you. And now it's starting to get coverage this morning in Newsweek. Uh, actually, yes, on April 27th, the comedian took to Twitter and pondered about the portrayal of the bad guys in, in a video game. And she goes on to say, uh, fans flocked to reply and chimed in, quote, I mean, there was mixed race population in Germany, so it's very feasible that some answered the call to fight for the right. One follower argued, Gotta be inclusive these days, no matter what, another fan offered. By the way, uh, it's Woke War 2, one user quipped. Again, I don't think that they understand that these replies are making fun of her, right? Uh, I really don't remember any uh, uh, black bad guys in WW2 in the game. Are you talking about the multiplayer mode? One follower asked the comedian. People can choose their character, 
but then it randomly assigns what side you're on. In July 2017, Forbes reported about why there are Oh, why there are uh, black bad guys in the game. They've taken everything historical out of the competitive side in order to make the game appeal to as diverse an audience as possible. Ah! You want it? You got it. You want that diversity and inclusion, Hollywood? Well, now you get black bad guys from WW2. That's how it works. You don't get to just be the good guys. Sometimes you're the bad ones. And Sarah Silverman apparently doesn't connect these two things as somebody who clearly pushes for this uh, uh, is completely unaware of why that might be the case. But yeah, of course, people like Anita Sarkeesian has no effect on video games. Just ask Naughty Dog about that. Michael Condre, co-founder of Sledgehammer Games, said that he wanted their players, quote, regardless of gender or ethnicity, to feel they were represented in multiplayer mode. <laughs> The Call of Duty soldier you customize and play as should be a representation of you, your avatar and MP, and that soldier can look however you choose. Uh, yes, and Charlie Hall of Polygon spoke to Mike in 2017, Mike I don't even think exists anymore, about the inclusion of them. Quote, arguably including black bad guys from WW2 in Call of Duty is a step forward. <laughs> How do you even write this stuff? How do you even write this stuff? I love it. I love it. Thank God for Sarah Silver, Silverman's moronic hypocrisy on this, a wonderful day of news in need. I hope you enjoyed this video. We'll talk to you again real soon.